you guys, it's Crystal with Pure, and just really fast, I wanted to show you a couple of fast edits using a new tool that is in Photoshop CC 2015. It's called the Dehaze tool. It's pretty amazing. I love it. Um, and so I'm just going to show you a couple of fast edits using that. Um, I have a couple of images, and the sun was dropping really fast because it was the last light, and one of them... The exposure obviously is not perfect, but you know, I, I don't claim to be perfect. I try to get as much correct in camera as possible. However, the sun had dropped, had just dropped below the trees, and so my exposure was off. But <clears throat> I can make this image look amazing. So I'm gonna just go ahead and bring this image. I'm gonna bring these two images up into uh, Photoshop. So let me go ahead and open those. Okay, so I have these two images here, and I'll just start editing, I guess. Okay, so first the dehaze tool is under the effects. It's FX, and it's only in CC 2015. It, that, I believe that's when it appeared. That's when I first saw it. So if you come here, you have the dehaze tool right here. Okay, so first I'm going to run a preset. And or you can do your hand editing first or however you want to do it, but I'll just go ahead and do this. So I'll do the basic workflow and then it's still underexposed and I know that. So I'll just do a batch plus one and now it's perfect. So two little clicks and it's got a perfect um, like edit. So then I'll just come over here to FX and you don't want to go too crazy with it because it'll start making things look kind of funky, but I'll usually go to like under 20 or so um, yeah and that's perfect and then I may raise the exposure just a smidge maybe raise the shadows a little bit so that's perfect so let me show you the I, uh, plus 18 so if I go back to 0 that's what that does and if I go 18 it adds just a nice little pop I love it okay so um, let me show you the before and after. So this was the before and that was the after with two with three clicks. So I used the basic workflow, the batch plus one, and then I came over here to the dehaze and did plus 18. So I'll come over here to this image and this one's going to require a little bit more work. This one, it was right before the sun dropped below um, the it was like right on the edge of those like bushes or trees or whatever right there. Um, and I'm not a super huge fan of what this right here um, over by the tree, the little light speck. So I'll get rid of those too. So first I'll come over here and do basic workflow. And oh, I love that so much. Okay. So, but what I love is that this light is coming in and it's, it's like, it's just, kind of like kissing them it's it's directed at them and you obviously naturally have a fall off from the light um, so I want to emphasize that fall off so first I'm going to come over here to my adjustment brush and these are going to be included you can get these for free on our website and I'll put the link to that um, they're for Lightroom and also for ACR and there will be directions on how to install these so it's just a basic, um, uh, so you come right here to choose a brush, so I'll just choose lower exposure, and I'm just going to brush it on around them, because again, I don't want them, I don't want to underexpose them, but I want to accentuate the light and the fall off, and if I feel like I may have gotten it on them, and you can check by kind of um, hovering over the pin, I'll just click erase. Now the hover's not working, but I'll just go ahead and erase it off of them. And I like that. And if you want it to be stronger, you can click New, and then you can do it again. Oh, now it's working. So I can see where I, if I hover over it, I can see where the white is where I brushed that on. And so it looks like it's pretty good. It's not on them. So if I click that pin, I can click Add. And then I can either lower the exposure even more dramatically if I want, or I can leave that at point, I can leave that at negative 0.55. And then I can 
um, click new and brush it on again. So it's really whatever your uh, preference is and then I'll click erase and just make sure I didn't get any on them and a little bit around here. And then I'll click new again and come over here and I'll do the add saturation which is also included in the freebie. And I'm just going to kind of uh, brush it on on the grass a little bit and up here to kind of accentuate uh, the colors. So, and I think that's perfect. So, um, let me go ahead and click the before and now the after. And I love how if you look just right out at them, you see like a ray of light just kind of like kissing them. And I think that's perfect. So again, I'll come up here and I'll show the before and the after. And again, this one was just simple, um, a couple of presets the basic workflow and the batch plus one, which is in our first preset collection. And then this one was the basic workflow. And then also the two brushes that are included for free on our website. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, oh, and then the dehaze, whoops, I forgot to come on, go back to where it's supposed to go. Okay. So the dehaze, you can also make it, you know, because it is a little bit hazy, it's not too bad. So I can, again, like add a little bit of pop to them by just using that dehaze. And that's perfect. I could raise the exposure a little bit if I wanted to. Um, and then there's the before and there's the after. So yeah, so the dehaze is really nice. Like it just adds a little bit of pop um, and kind of uh, softens the look of the haze. Now we have here, we have these little light specks. And so I'll just clean that up really fast with the spot removal. So I'll just click that and then it's going to select an area that it thinks will be a good cloning option. So just uh, make sure that it's not off somewhere crazy. Sometimes it does that. Um, and so then I'll come right here and see like that one is, is on the tree. So I want to make sure it's kind of in the same area because you don't want it to look all crazy. Um, and you just click it and then it'll automatically choose an area and then you can move it if you need to see like this one right here, like that would look like I need to actually kind of move that cause that's a brighter area. So you just grab the green one and you move it over and then let me choose that and this one, it gets confusing after a while with all these little circles knowing which ones you've already done. Um, let's see. I think we're getting close to being done. I think that's good to show you. Let's see. So there's that. There's one little one right there still. Let's see. Okay. So now let's see what that looks like. Perfect. So that looks much better. So this was the before. And that was the after. And you can kind of see some of the haze around the edge of the photo. Um, I just, I love that. I think it's perfect. So anyways, I hoped this helped. It was really fast tutorial, but uh, let me know if you have any questions.